and that that's not toxic masculinity, that appalling phrase. It's what keeps the world going round. And if we had any sense, we'd understand that. We've met some of your fans and uh, we got the impress impression they were all male fans, that, the ones that we talked to, um, and that they were struggling with their manhood and that you uh, give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay, it's necessary. What the hell are we gonna do without men? You look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up, these men, they're doing impossible things, they're under the streets, working on the sewers, they're up on the power lines, in the storms and the, and the rain, they're keeping this impossible infrastructure functioning, this thing that works in a miraculous manner. They work themselves to death, and often literally, the gratitude for that is sorely lacking, especially among the people who should be most grateful. You see university professors, especially of the social justice bent, who are among the most protected and privileged people that the world has ever produced. They take everything they have for granted, failing to understand entirely that there's a massive infrastructure of unbelievably hardworking, solidly laboring, working class men, breaking themselves in half on a regular basis, making sure that everything that always breaks works. And so a little gratitude for that is in order. And it's very useful to tell everyone, not just men, that they have an important role to play, a necessary role, and that if they act properly and honestly and forthrightly, that they can put their lives together and they can help their families and they can make their communities better and that that's not toxic masculinity that appalling phrase. It's what keeps the world going round. If we had any sense, we'd understand that instead of doing everything at every possible moment to label what we have in the West as oppressive and patriarchal and, and, and fundamentally predicated on power of all the insane propositions.